All right, guys, so this will be a demonstration of the uh, diode dynamics lights. Um, so in the upper position, I've got the diode dynamics um, SS3 sport power level driving beam pattern. They're mounted on the LP Aventur ditch light brackets. And in the lower position, I've got the SS3 in the pro power level. Uh, they're in the factory fog light position on a 2021 RAV4 uh, all-wheel drive gas model um, but they also have the driving beam pattern for the lens and so I'll just refer to them as basically the uh, sport which will be the um, upper mounted lights and the pro which is the ones that are mounted in the fog light position I'm recording this on a iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, 4k 30 frames per second um, the auto exposure and autofocus is locked to try and keep it as consistent as possible all right so uh here we go so right now that what you're seeing is the factory low beams and you can see uh obviously you know they're just normal low beams uh, nothing special um they are leds all right and so now I'm going to turn on the high beams. And I'm going to go back to the low beams. And now I'm going to turn on the sport, which again is the uh, SS3 uh, with the driving beam pattern mounted up top. It is a little hazy out right now, um, but you know it's kind of real world conditions as opposed to waiting for ideal conditions. So, all right, now I'm gonna turn those off. And again, these are low beams. Back to the high beams, and back to low beams because, of course, uh, the fog lights will only stay on in low beams. Um, I hope to change that at some point, but for right now, um, it's just pretty much factory configuration. And there's a vehicle approaching the other way, so I'll leave my low beams on. All right, so now I'm going to turn on the SS3 Pro, which again is uh, mounted in the factory fog light position with the driving beam lens. Once I get to the top of this hill, I'll turn them back off so you can kind of see the contrast. And uh, you know. all right. So I'm going to turn off the uh, fog lights and factory low beams are on. Factory high beams back to low. That's with the fog lights. I'm going to turn those off and I'm going to turn on the uh, sport upper lights. Turn those back off so you can see the difference in light output. So if you're wondering uh, you know, if they're worth it or not, hopefully this video is going to help you out and make your decision. I'm not really going to get into... Uh, you know, if I like them or not, um, obviously they're on my vehicle, I, I do like them, but, uh, and now I'm going to turn on the fog lights, so this will be both the sport and pro upper and lower lights. And I'll go ahead and drive like that for a uh, minute or two. turn off the fog lights and back on I'll turn off the upper mounted sports and back on and all of them off factory low beams factory high beams I'm going to do that one more time low beams high beams 
back to low, fog lights, back off, the sport uh, upper lights, back off, I'll turn the upper lights back on, and fog lights on. So hopefully that's showing up on uh, you know the difference between all, all the different lights and I'll uh, I, I know it's a little confusing as far as the way I was saying you know the upper lights are lower and fog lights so I will put it in the description of you know which ones were on as they came on just to make it a little bit easier and like I said hopefully this uh, gives you a good demonstration of the lights. Um, I did want to say as far as uh, Diode Dynamics, they do offer an eight-year warranty on their lights. It's one of the reasons I decided to go with that company. Um, so again, you know, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, if it does, please give it a, you know, a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions on uh, future videos or what I could do differently, uh, please leave that in the comments. And uh, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, thank you guys.